Another day, another package from our friends at Go Game Geek. Now, Zoo, you idiot, you've already done an RGXX Plus. Heck, I think you've done two so far. Why are you doing another one? Well, don't be so rude to me. That's just unnecessary. But I will answer you, even though you were rude. I am going to consoleize this. And I don't normally consoleize things, but a lot of people have been saying, Zoo, this has HDMI out. How does it work plugged into a TV? How hard is it to connect Bluetooth? Well, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it live. It's recorded, but I'm basically doing it live. I don't know if you've picked up on this yet. That's my whole thing. I don't really script anything because that sounds like work. I like goofing around. So what do we get from our friends at Go Game Geek? Who, by the way, pretty good place to buy stuff from. They got good prices, decent shipping, all that jazz. Now it's the normal package. It's your 35XX cord, screen protector, everything. We don't care about it. What we're looking at is the actual handheld. Ooh, it's that cigarette Game Boy one. I like it. Oh, I got a lot. Get out of here, box. Yeah. So if you notice here on top, there's a little HDMI out port. Now I got to get the right converter because this is full HDMI out. Doesn't, it's too big. So we're going to get a converter. Wait a minute. Uh, Gary, can you go find me a converter? It's in the box of junk. Just all the cables in a big bundle. Dee, 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 All right, I found it. So this is a little HDMI regular size converter to this micro. Is it micro or mini? Is this the right one? Boy, I hope so. It's going to be a short video if it's not. Yes. Ooh, how do you like that? So if you have a full size cord, all you need is one of these converters. I'll put a link in the description. You can get them anywhere. They're all pretty much the same thing. You're going to want to make sure that this end is mini HDMI. So before we get this thing too far along, let's set up the controller. That should be easy, right? So what you want to do is go over to settings. And then down here we have uh, Bluetooth settings. And you want to enable Bluetooth. That's easy enough, right? So Bluetooth is enabled. Let's get a cool controller and see if it'll connect. Uh, connect to search device. All right, I think we found our S SO3. I think that's my controller. Connect. So now my controller is connected. So whatever your settings are to get your Bluetooth controller connected, just press the right button configuration on your controller, go into Bluetooth settings, search, and find it. Easy peasy. Look, I'm not touching it. I'm using this. So our next step is to plug it into the TV. Wait a minute while I reconfigure. D, 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 D. All right, so we're set. And you can see my kind of unorthodox setup here that we have the 35XX Plus plugged right in to your TV. You, I, I have a flat monitor here. You could use a regular TV. You could use whatever you want. Your first step is not going to be to try to jump into a game because I tried that and some of the buttons didn't work. You're going to want to go to Settings, Buttons, Custom. Joystick, Buttons, Custom. Your name of your controller. Then you're going to want to map everything. D-pad up. D-pad down. D-pad left. D-pad right. Select. Start. You get the idea. We're not done yet because the buttons work great in the menu, but they're not going to be recognized by RetroArch yet. So we go to Start RetroArch, and we're going to want to map the controller in RetroArch too. Now look, nothing happens. So you're still going to need this. You're going to want to go to Ooh Settings and Input. You're going to want to make sure that your secondary controller is actually selected because right now it's uh, D Play Keys, which I guess is the 35XX Plus. If you go over to the name of your controller, then everything is good to go. And you can just back out and we're good. How about that? Look at that, huh? Huh? I don't... Hmm. Having some trouble. Let's troubleshoot this. I need to map this setup into port 1 under SO3. Don't know how I'm going to do that outside of going in and editing the configuration file. Which is kind of a bummer. All right, we're going to pause for station identification. We're going to fix this. I thought this would be a lot easier. Dang it. You're listening to Zoo's Reviews on WKZU Montana. All right, the struggle continues. So if I go into an actual core, I'm in the SNES core, and I go mapped port 2. So let's see here. I can go to port 1 controls. And when I go to mapped port, I can say, nope, it's actually 2. And then port 1 works. Yes, yes, yes. But I have to do that for every, hmm, do that for every core. 
I don't like that. For now, finally, we're going to play an SNES game. Where you at, goofball? Get over here! Oh, right in the crotch. So that kind of works. There's a lot of overhead I didn't really anticipate. So for Genesis, I think you're going to have to do the same thing. And I anticipate you're going to have to do the same thing for every core, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Ah! Map your port 2 to port 1, save it, and then go back to play the game. Hooray! Well, that didn't work. Oh, you turd. I went for it and I failed, Gary. So I guess it works. Kind of. I really wish this was more seamless. And honestly, uh, I'm going to go try a different controller. I'm going to back the whole way out. I'm going to try a different controller. And we're going to see if maybe that makes a difference. Be right back. <laughs> found an old 8-bit dough wired. We're gonna plug that in. We're gonna see what that does. Oh, it's buzzing. Well, heck, that works. That works just fine. Let's try GBA. Now, I haven't set anything up. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try to start something. And it, so far, it's already doing better. Okay, so that works right out of the box. So let's Let's back out. Completely back out. We're going to open up RetroArch, and we're going to see if this works out of the box. I feel like I wasted a bunch of time because guess what? It was working way better just with this actual controller versus the other goofy one. So, let's make sure port 1, X-pad, yes. Yes. We're going to go to our main menu, configuration file, save that current configuration, and now... I should be able to open up any game and play it without any fiddling. So it looks like perhaps, perhaps, maybe, our original problem was just the fact that the uh, controller I was using was not great. Because this seems a lot more plug and play. <laughs> well, I feel like kind of an idiot. I won't edit out all of the footage, because cause then it won't make sense, but I will try to gussy up some of it. Where's a Honda Civic? Ah! Steady! Michelin Man, help me! I'm gonna try something else here. I'm gonna try to bump up the resolution because this has more power than it needs to play a PlayStation game. So maybe if I do one of those shaders where I do 2x, let's do XSAL 2x. Try that. Oh, that looks a little better. How do I go backwards? Okay, so that's 2x. Heck, let's try 4x. Oh, that already feels chunky. No, we don't want that. It looks pretty, but we don't want that. Scale HQ is pretty good. We'll do 2x. See how that runs. Oh, it's pretty good. Looks a little smeary, but it's still better than the hyper-pixelation you got without the shader. Quit that. Let's try a different game, just to verify that this works. Cowabunga! This looks beautiful. Beautiful! You know, I played the arcade version of this in Las Vegas with uh, Russ and Stubbs and RPG Bill, and it was amazing. But then the arcade machine, it had a ROM checksum error, and it crashed. Oh well, we did get to play NBA Jam, which was cool. Maybe I'll just end the video with footage of us playing NBA Jam. Pizza time. Alright, so obviously, this works great if you have a controller that seems to be detected as an Xbox 360 or something that's a little more standard. If you have a weird Bluetooth controller like I do that was working, it worked in the menu, but it just really didn't want to work in RetroArch, you could get around it. I was able to play a couple games. The issue is, it is a tremendous amount 
of extra work and you might even need to take the SD card out and mess with the configuration file in a text editor. It's just hassle. This, easy. So something that's detected as an Xbox 360 controller, plug it in, no problem, not at all. So Gary, it's time for what did we learn? We learned that you can consoleize a 35XX Plus and probably the XXH fairly easily. Now the one exception we did encounter was if you have kind of a off-brand Bluetooth controller that works fine with more modern stuff, this doesn't really like to accept it in a plug-and-play fashion. It was kind of mad. But if you have something like an 8-bit Doe or a GameSir or an Xbox 360 controller for real, it should work fine because it knows how to detect it. We already know what the 35XX Plus line can do. It is more powerful than the regular 35XX. It's slightly more powerful than the 351 line. So you're going to max out at PlayStation, some Dreamcast, some PSP. But for something that is a really cool, portable, small handheld, tiny Game Boy, you can also plug a cord into it and plug a USB into the bottom or a good Bluetooth controller. And you have yourself a console. That's pretty cool because, for instance, when we went to CES, Rocket brought a modded Wii with controllers. We were trying to figure out a way to hook up Steam Decks with Bluetooth controllers. And honest to God, we could have just brought an HDMI cable and a couple good Bluetooth controllers and all played random games off of the 35XX Plus, which we all had one while we were there. So I guess the quick takeaway is that if you have the appropriate controllers and the appropriate cords, this is super easy to consoleize. You just plug in the AV out, plug in your controllers, and boom, you got yourself games from Atari all the way to PSP. And no muss, no fuss. But remember, there might be some muss and fuss if you have a cruddy Bluetooth controller. So get out of here, controller. Oh crap, I think I broke it for real. Gary, run that NBA Jam footage. Remember to like and subscribe.